guy just doodling around here with my guitar and amp. Uh, I thought I'd do a video for you uh, today over um, recording. Um, I was using a looper for a lot of my my songs, and um, I've decided just to go and try Audacity. I had a problem with Audacity because of my computer. You know, I'd, I was kind of afraid reading about latency and stuff. People were having issues and. It kind of scary to think about, hey, I'm trying to record with a computer. But anyway, it's not that big of a deal so long as your, um, your, uh, your computer is set up uh, correctly. I thought that maybe I needed to get a, um, an audio interface, which, you know, I could still get. To get a really good one is, is pricey, so, you know, you figure for the amount of money that you're going to be putting into that, you could probably go out and get a little 8-track Tascam or something and, and probably with uh, some results have a decent you know demo or whatever you need to do to get your ideas down on music. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go and show you what I did to my computer. I, I spoke to a gentleman at Guitar Center. He said the problem that most people have is the RAM, the random access memory to your computer. If you have an older computer and you're like maybe just two gigabytes of RAM in there, which I'll show you here in a minute what I'm what I'm talking about. Uh, it doesn't help to get an audio interface because um, it's not the audio interface that's causing that latency, which is the delay uh, that you're hearing through your headphones as you're trying to record a track. Anyway, so as you can see, I got the side of my computer out here just just so I can show you. Um, The cards kind of look like this, actually. This is a Dell 755 Oplex, and uh, they kind of situate themselves right on top of here. There should be, if you have two, two gigabytes, you need to have at least four. And the way you can find out is by going into your computer and going to your desktop and opening up your system and it should tell you right there at the top what you got going on. You see here I've got, oh, sorry about that. I've got, um, I've got a dual core. Let me see here. I've got a dual core and I've got four gigabytes of hard drive. I mean, uh, four, four gigabytes of RAM. So I've got a dual core with four gigabytes available, usable. So I've got all the slots going on with it. Now, there's other things you can also do to your computer to make to make things a little bit easier. One is that you have to disconnect your, your Wi-Fi if you're gonna be recording because anything that you bring into this computer through the BIOS, which is what starts up the boot, the BIOS, you go through that, is going to hamper the uh, recording process. Um, it's a wonderful program and uh, it's very easy to download. It's absolutely free. Um, I love it. I like looping too for the band here. I've got, I'm working on a song just to show you that I'm not kidding you that uh, it is it is on here. And you can do so much with this program, you know. Um, mix, edit, cut stuff out, add tracks. The more, more tracks you add, you just bring it up and uh, you know, it just, it gives you more room. And uh, the mixing part of it is really wonderful too. Once you've mastered that, I'm I'm still kind of a little shaky at it, but um, it's it's really really great. You've got a nice cut, and you've got an in, in sync time here. So if you want to cut all your intros, your click intros that you're going into, it does it really nicely. You've got all these wonderful effects that you can go to. Um, you can compress, you know, anything, equalize it. And the important thing is you got to watch the uh, the RAM and you can go right into your uh, your computer and find out how much RAM you have so if you have anything that's four and above you're, you're set to go